Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome back. This is episode 62 of our playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3 is Germany. We are engaged in a struggle down here in Yugoslavia at the moment. Uh, not a whole lot of a struggle, but uh, they've got a bunch of space that we have to take up. Uh, and we basically need one more victory city to, to knock them out. Now, if we take a look at the UK, however... Uh, they are at surrender progress. They're actually at lower surrender progress uh, than they were. Nevertheless, if they lose London, which is not all that far from being surrounded, that will be bad news for them. They're wasting on reinforcement. We've got some more, um, ooh, that's potentially not good. What is this? Uh, where is my transport flotilla? These guys, okay. Oh, they're actually returning. So let's see what's happening here. These guys are waiting for supplies still. These guys are lowish on supplies. Okay, so first of all, let's pull this HQ back. Bedford. We're making pretty good progress. Yeah, we're going to wait. We're going to drop some paratroops. We're going to drop a paratroop uh, division on London, but we're going to wait on that. So let's see here. Supply situation is not awesome up here, by the way. I think we just have to wait. Uh, let's get some air, some rebased air up here. What do we have here? Just transport planes. Here we have what? Some shit that I can't click on. Uh, they're not mine, they're Slovaks, that's why. All right, we have some interceptors. We're going to rebase interceptors up here. Give them a nice air superiority mission as soon as they become available. Kick the speed up one here, too. And we'll give them a little bit of sphere here. That looks good. They'll run in the day. That looks good.
Waiting for fuel. Great. What do we got here? Can we, like, put a supply dump in or some shit like that? That uh, would be optimal if we could. <clears throat> Let's look at the supply map mode. This is something I never friggin' look at. I think I'm just gonna have to wait, to be honest. This battle in Cambridge is particularly important because it will allow us to complete the encirclement of London. So what I'm looking for here is some tack bombers. And we're gonna go day. Alright, and it looks like the, uh... Supply situation has cleared itself up. So that's good. And these are all HQs. They can pretty much stay where they're at. Alright, that makes a big difference right there. This Falschmiger there. And we just made a major push. We're about to remove a British air base from the equation. are looking pretty good here. The uh, Battle of Cambridge is going our way now. We need to take a look at our fleets. Well, okay, that's nice, but we need to take a look at that and get rid of all three of those. We got another waiting for supplies situation. Can we even move them? We can. And we will oh no 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 no. So we want to keep them where they're at. A, so we can save on supplies. Okay, this is ticking up. Fierce battling around Cambridge, though. So the big question then becomes... The big question then becomes is how long is it going to take to reduce London? I'm, I'm going to guess and say it's going to take a while. Okay, so we want another one. That all works. Cambridge is getting there.
more we can take away, the more British airfields and ports we can take away, the less uh, trouble this should be. So let's see here. Tactical bombers with no orders and 100%. That sounds like somebody waiting for something to do. We are going to do ground continuous ground attacks on London. All right, and we have an encirclement. So let's take care of this research bullshit first. It is steel production, right? Rare materials and steel. Which means we gotta put some more action in here. I'm pretty sure, let's see. Mechanized defensive, we can take another level. Blitzkrieg, we can take another level. Operational command structure. Infantry, mass assault. Uh, large front, sure. That should keep that busy for a while. Let's take a look at Yugoslavia and how that's going. Okay, we definitely got to catch up here. Let's look at the victory point map mode. We're going to run this uh, light Panzer Division down here. These guys can all basically come up here. That works. So Yugoslavia is ready to crumble here. Now let's uh, London's going to crumble pretty soon, I think. Is it 90%? It's about to go. What did we got? They're at 100% surrender progress, so let's see what happens. And let's go down here and take a look at Yugoslavia, where most of what is going on is, is shuffling of troops right now. Let's 
get some guys up to the uh, to the front. Enforce puppet on United Kingdom. That's not really what I wanted, but on the plus side. Looking at the let's just, let's take a look at that diplomacy. UK uh, actually intelligence, I guess, is what we want to look at. Other state George the Sixth. Interesting. Winston Churchill still. So it's a puppet. So let's look at, let's see, which map mode was that? Diplomatic. So look at that, man. Yugoslavia's about to go down too. So we are at, if we go to Germany, we are at war with France. Truce with the UK. So I guess there's still a bunch of Vichy France, but the British Empire has been brought to heel. Are we still at war with the United States? I think we are. We are. Okay, well, I guess we now know what has to happen next. Um, I guess the first thing we're going to do is finish out this episode with polishing off Yugoslavia. Which really shouldn't be much of an issue. In fact, if Beograd has just fallen, they're at 100% surrender progress as well. So I know my war goal for them was conquer, though, so. Axis has achieved their victory conditions. Let's take a look at that. I'd like to... Germany annexed France. Of course, conquer on France. We have won some battle in Yugoslavia, some other battle in Yugoslavia. The Axis has achieved their victory conditions. <coughs> let's, uh, let's call the game over, actually, but let's take a look and see exactly where we're at here. And let's uh, check the diplomatic map mode. Where the hell is it? There it is. So yeah, we have achieved our victory conditions. Um, the Japanese didn't do any of the Pacific stuff I told them to do, including invading the U.S., um, nor did they take the Philippines. However, they did take all of South, take or puppet all of Southeast Asia, including India. Uh, they were quite helpful in the war against the Soviet Union by draining some forces off from them. And, and frankly, that was a, kind of a nail-biting conflict, so I'm happy that they managed that. Um, the Italians were a surprisingly large amount of help uh, because they managed to, and I guess we need to look at the political map mode to see this, um, they managed to uh, take the middle, uh, the Mediterranean away from the British by taking first Egypt and the Suez Canal and then Gibraltar. Um, that very helpful as well. Um, didn't do a lot with uh, trying to disrupt the British supply lines or any of that. Um, very happy with the results of this game. Uh, kind of figured... I don't know if I want to continue it or not. I, 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 I don't know that I want to bother playing for another three or four years. National decisions available. Independent Croatia. Really? Anyway, um, I don't know that I want to bother playing for another two or three years just for the sake of trying to invade the United States. Um, it would be amusing. I'm not sure it would be quite worth the effort. Um, at, at this point, um, with the UK a British puppet, uh, I'm not sure it's worth the problem. So, um, 62 episodes in, and I guess we're finished with Hearts of Iron 3. It did uh, take a little while to get uh, 
to get this all done. Um, I, and I took a break of probably four months in there too, but uh, it's finished. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed watching this series, which I can now post as a, as a completed playthrough. Um, I hope that you will check out my next playthrough, whatever that is, and I do have a pretty good idea what it's going to be, so, uh, so stay tuned on that. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, enjoy the channel, subscribe, like the videos, and I will see you next time.